Hello and welcome to Coleman Tarot. My name is H.E. Coleman and these are going to be your videos for the month of December. Before we start, I just want to say that I hope that you all have a wonderful holiday season and a great month. I also, <laughs> I can't believe what you know, I'm going to say, I can't believe I've even got through that because I said it like 50 times and every time I've loved it and this is, the, I finally said it right, so. Okay, I also would like to say that I am sorry that I did not finish my videos um, last month. I was rushing to complete my book and I was trying to have it out by Christmas. I might have it out by the end of the month. Hopefully it will be out before January 1st. If not, I will release it through Amazon by January 18th. Um, here's a copy of the book now if you want to see it. The book is about my experiences um, with the afterlife. I had a heart attack and died about two years ago before I started doing any of these videos. Um, and I never, I never told anybody really, I never really talked about it. I only told four people. And um, I didn't really want to ever tell anyone about it or talk about it, but I believe that it's really important to um, let people know that kind of thing because I think it's something that uh, everyone should, everyone dies. So I think it's <laughs> something that everyone's curious about. And I, I feel like, I wish someone had told me um, some of these things so I wouldn't be so scared and I wouldn't be so nervous about life and death and things like that. It's just it's just kind of like a comfort to know, you know, that everything's going to be fine. Anyway, if you want to read that book, it's um, it's going to be about two dollars for the, um, the ebook. I'm making it really cheap or uh, the paper. There's also a paperback version. And if you wanted to get it the first week, it's going to be cheaper. I'm going to make it really cheap the first week. So that's the best time to get it. So check either January, if you are interested, check either January 1st or January 18th. Those are the best days to get it. After that, it'll probably just be a little bit more expensive. But anyway, I hope that you have a great month. I hope that you really enjoy the videos. And I will tell you in the January videos if I made my deadline, if it's coming out, and uh, anything else you want to know about that, if you have any questions. Okay, I hope that you have a great month. Bye. <clears throat> okay, Virgo, here we go. All right, Virgo, it is almost midnight, and uh, <clears throat> I'm doing these late at night because I do not have a choice. I cannot do them during the day. So I've got a lot of light in here. <clears throat> That's why the lighting is different than it usually is, um, because I don't want it to be too dark. There you go. Let's see. That was the Eight of Wands, and then it's going to be... This one. <clears throat> okay, you have the Karma card. A lot of people are getting that. You have the Two of Pentacles. You have the Knight of Cups. The Temperance card. <clears throat> the Ten of Wands. Your obstacle is the Two of Wands. And your outcome is going to be the Eight of Swords in reverse. Okay, and that is going to be your Wheel of Fortune. Awesome. Now, here you have the Eight of Wands. <clears throat> Sorry, my throat is really sore from doing a lot of readings. Uh, here's the Eight of Wands, and this is about fast progress, which is excellent, excellent, fast progress. And it's right next to the Karma card. So I believe you're going to be doing some something really nice for somebody else, and you're going to be getting good karma from that, and you're going to be getting fast progress. So if there's anybody else that you see in your life or anyone else that's uh, that you can think of that you can do something nice for, you're going to be getting fast progress as a result of that. And I'm not saying... <clears throat> You should always be good for goodness sake and just, you know, because you want to care about people. But <clears throat> I don't think you should do good things for people just so you can get things back. But I am saying that you are going to be putting good karma out there into the universe because you're going to have fast progress right after that. So it's just going to be a coincidence. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. You're, you're, going to <clears throat> you're going to be doing nice things and whatever you put out in the universe, that's what, that's what comes back to you. So you're going to be uh, some of the time, usually. Um... So now you have the Two of Pentacles. This is about creating a balance in your life, a balance between work and home life, between what you put out and what you get back, between what you, you know, how hard you work and what the results are going to be. All right. And over here you have the Temperance card. The Temperance card is about working really hard and making it look effortless. You're, you're going to be um, putting the effort in and or being organized and working really hard, but then people will see you and they'll think, oh, it's just they're just talented. But really it's just because you're working hard. The temperance card is about um, making things look effortless and putting things together and <clears throat> that don't necessarily belong together, like fire and water. You, you make them you make them fit. You work really hard and you make them make them fit. And this can also be an analogy for relationship where two people are opposites, but you, you somehow make it work because you're a miracle worker. 
Okay, and over here you have the Ten of Wands, and this is about carrying a heavy burden. Okay, carrying a heavy burden. And also, like with Karma card, with the Karma card as well, a lot of people out there are carrying a really heavy burden that is almost impossible for them to carry, and they need help. So um, it's it's really it's always nice to to help somebody else who's also carrying a heavy burden because then when it's your turn, you're gonna also be carrying a heavy burden someday, and you're gonna need help with that. <coughs> Or you're gonna need support at least to get it done. The ten of the, the ten of wands is also about you're carrying a heavy burden and you're about to put it down. Okay, you're about to make the fast progress. You're gonna you're about to be finished and say, okay, I'm finally finished. I'm finally finished setting up this wedding party. I'm finally finished setting up this celebration for the holidays. I'm finally finished all that work I have to do so I can take off the holidays. I'm finally finished uh, putting all this work into my career so I can get that promotion I've always wanted. So this is about you almost being finished all that work you're doing and then you're waiting for the results, which is gonna be uh, another reason for the fast progress. In the middle of your month, you have the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups is, is typically about romance, but you can see that the person has this cup here, which is filled with um, good feelings and good emotions. It's usually a cup of kindness or a cup of love. It can be either one, especially since you have the Karma card here. It can just be a cup of kindness that you're giving to another person, but it can also be about romance. A lot of times this is about um, being romantic towards somebody, telling somebody how you feel and saying, you know, like, I really, this is how I feel about you. I really love you. And I, you know, I'm finally going to admit it. Uh, so, and the Knight of Cups is usually slow to get there. See how he's walking really slowly? Some of the knights are charging in, uh, but this guy is just coming slow. This person is just coming slow because they're, they're afraid to reveal their feelings and they're afraid to, you know, like they're a little bit timid to get out there and say, <clears throat> you know, this is how I feel, or I want to help you, but I'm not sure if you want that help. So I'm kind of like timidly approaching. I'm kind of, <clears throat> I don't want to spook you off. <clears throat> Sorry about all the coffee. My, my throat is really getting sore now. Here we have the uh, the obstacle card is your two of wands. And this is about making a decision. And this is your obstacle. So this is saying that you're not making a decision that you need to make. Once you make the decision, you will have a lot faster progress. You will have a lot more balance in your life. Again, you're kind of like going back and forth between either two people or two decisions where you're saying, I kind of want this, but then you're saying, mm, I kind of want this, and mm, I kind of want this, and mm, I kind of want this. This is a lot to do also with uh, people who can't make up their minds between partners. If they have two different um, partner uh, uh, opportunities and they're not sure which one to choose because you can only put your power, that little that little ball of power right there, he has to put it behind one or the other. Otherwise, they won't be successful. You can't just try to do both in this case. In this case, you need to make a decision if you want one of them to get faster progress. If you have a relationship between two different people and you say, I'm going to choose one of them, then boom, that relationship can go farther. If you have two different job opportunities or two different jobs that you're working and you say, I'm going to put all my effort into this job, then boom, you can make faster progress, okay? That's your obstacle. Make a choice. Make a decision. And this is why you're not making the decision. This is being trapped in fear and doubt. You're saying, I want to go for that job, but this one's more safe. I want to go for this relationship, but I don't know if I want to commit. I, you know, you're trapped in fear and doubt. And you're going to overcome that because your outcome is in reverse. So this is you overcoming fear and doubt. You did it. Awesome. That's how you make your decision. You overcome fear and doubt and you say, I'm going to go for what I want. I'm going to go for what I passionately care about. And I'm not going to be afraid that it's not going to work out. I'm going to go for it. Okay, because sometimes things do work out. Now, <clears throat> I know in the past we all have stuff that hasn't worked out, but sometimes it actually does. And you have to be able to uh, trust and put your heart out there and um, uh, do it. Take a chance. That's the only way you're going to succeed is by taking a chance. Okay, uh, over here you have the Wheel of Fortune. This is the stuff that's hidden from you. The Wheel of Fortune, fortune turning in your favor. Excellent. Fortune turning in your favor. That, again, has a lot to do with karma, with helping others and being loving toward others. Then you get it back. Things are turning in your favor. Oh, look at this. Three of Wands, success. Look at this. Here, this is your obstacle, not being able to choose. And this is your outcome, success. You've got, look, here's the two that you, ha that you can't choose between. There's the two you can't choose between. Here's the one that you're choosing, and you're saying, I'm going to go forward with that. So you might not even choose the two that you can't choose between. You might not even choose either one of them. You might choose a totally new one. Because here's a guy moving forward with um, a whole new branch. So great. You've got the fortune turning in your favor. You've got now that you made a decision, you're moving forward and you've got success with that decision. So good. You, you have to decide something. You're going to make some have some success. And you might not even be deciding 
on the two things that you have there as opportunities. You might go out and get a whole new one. Okay, over here, the last card you have is the Queen of Cups. This is a great card for creativity, and it's a great card for um, putting your heart out there because she, even more than the Knight of Cups, the Knight of Cups just um, get, puts his heart out there, but at the same time, the Queen of Cups is very brave because she's definitely been hurt a bunch of times with her, you know, her her relationships, her kids, everything. She's she's always being hurt, and she's saying, you know what? Doesn't matter. I'm going to go back out there because I am who I am. I am a loving, loving person. That's that's what she's about. She's about putting her heart out there, even after she's been hurt, because she's a queen, so she's not afraid of anything. The queens are very strong. They they can take a licking and keep on ticking. You know, like I mean, they they can they can they can have heartbreak. And keep going because they're strong enough because they're a queen. All right? So that's going to be you. You've got success. You've got Wheel of Fortune turning in your favor. You've got um, creativity and emotion. And now I'm going to give you your fate card. It says time is of the essence. Time is of the essence. Okay, so time is running out to be putting your karma out there to be helping somebody. Um, time is running out because you've got all this all this fast progress happening. Time is running out to make a decision because if you don't make a decision, then you won't find this thing and go forward and create success. Okay, so make a decision quickly. Think about what you got to think about. Make a decision, um, and then you can finish these things. Finish this project, whatever it is that this is that you're carrying or that other people are carrying. Um, deal with this burden that that somebody's carrying a heavy, heavy burden. Deal with it. And have them put the burden down or have you put the burden down so you can pick up this new stick and keep going, okay? So put down the burden and then pick which one you want and, and start going on a new one because time is of the essence. All right? And obviously you have to get over your fears and doubts. And you will do that because you have this card here. That's the big thing. Get over your fear and doubt and just go for it. Pick something and go for it. That's the thing. Here's your spiritual card for the month. Jesus. It says, open your heart to love. And you definitely need to do that because look what you have. The Queen of Cups and the Knight of Cups, okay? These are both people who are putting their heart out there. Whether it is a relationship, whether it is charity to, towards others, whether it is helping somebody with a burden, or whether it is taking good care of yourself and having the, uh, having the strength to get over the fears. Where are they? Where are the fears? Whether it is loving yourself to get over these enough to get over these fears and insecurities, um, or whether it is loving being loving towards animals like he's doing here, open your heart to love, and then you're gonna have all this fast progress, and then your fortunes will be changing for the better. Okay? Have a great month. Your outcome was overcoming fear and doubt and really going for it, making a decision. Have a great one. Bye.